Hi, my name is Nkenny and I am the co-author of the Lamb's Danger FSM AI mod for Arma 3. In this video I will be demonstrating three standalone scripts for use with Arma 3 for mission editors and mission design really. Uh, in this showcase uh, there will be it's all pretty much all vanilla aside from a small internal effects mod and uh, I believe Dyna sound is in effect just to uh, save my aching hairs. I'll be showcasing three scripts and then uh, talking a bit about how they work and uh, what they do. But before we do that let's just jump into the small scenario just to give a bit of context here. So in this situation we see a, a vehicle has crashed, it's in a bad state, and so are the two uh, friendlies I have. And I know baddies are coming, specifically from the north. So I'll be moving over there to uh, sort of have a look. You can hear some shooting in the distance. Well, that's where we came from. I'm not set to end vulnerable in this test. That might be a bad idea, but uh, you know how it is. Again, I'm not running the Lambs Danger FSM mod in this case. This is all vanilla, just using the scripts themselves in a very particular matter. Whoa. And that's it from me. Let's have a look at what uh, the mission is all about then. What you just saw was the task rush script. And uh, I'll be showcasing three scripts, like I said, uh, all of them with a very similar sort of uh, sort of use and execution. And uh, here I have uh, two teams. Uh, I have a Bravo team and an Alpha team. Uh, and if I double click this guy, you can see he's named Soldier Alpha, but actually his group, I just run this script on his group. Now, if you're uh, familiar with Arma, you can do all of the usual tricks. You can compile this, and especially if you're going to run this many places at once, it's, uh, it's a good, uh, good idea. But in this case, I've run it on the group, and over here, we can see I've... Sorry, I've actually run it on him. I also give him a different AK just to have a flashlight. But that's the script in question right here. In this case, run on the group and it accepts this. Uh, first parameter, well, you can go into that in, uh, on either the GitHub or the forum post, but the first parameter captures either the unit or the group, and the second parameter sets uh, the range the script will be in effect. Default is 500, which is well within the sort of range we are. We're, we're, we're looking at here. So, that, so that'll be fine. Just as a demonstration, I've also set up a group over here. This is the Charlie group. And from here, I'm just activating it on a trigger. If Soldier Alpha or so and Soldier uh, Bravo are dead, then Soldier Charlie here has the script run, run on him. So kind of like a demonstration that you can do stuff like this uh, with it quite easily to set up these kinds of scenarios. Now I won't really be playing it right now, I'll just be showing you how they act when they're set to task rush like this. So here I am to hide with my buddies. Yeah. And let's have a peek and skip a spectator. So uh, the way this works is and the way all of these scripts work is they they do only track players and they do act with super knowledge this is a way of of getting the ai to move on your position right now they're scanning for all playable units finding the closest one and just storming towards that one and as you can see this has a pretty nice effect across this open uh, open field like that if they have flashlights like this, they'll also turn them on to sort of aid their search uh, search process. As you can probably imagine, this is easily 
very powerful to use in a sort of Black Hawk Down scenarios or, or, or any situation where uh, you, you really just need the AI storming in like that. Now, I'm going to be in a bad state quite soon if I don't move. So I teleported over here. I <laughs> giving the bad news to the AI, I, uh, my friends I abandoned. And if I look out here, probably inside, many of them are inside that garage. And now they're coming for me. Again, this is fully uh, vanilla. They're just moving inside the uh, side the building. They're moving on my location. Perfect knowledge. Uh, I wouldn't use this script too much. Um, it is fairly uh, fairly lightweight. So you can definitely. Definitely run it on uh, almost as many units as you'd like, but it really comes down to a bit of, uh, of game design and gameplay. Uh, playing always against units that can perfectly hunt you is not always the most interesting. Uh, so let me have a look at another one. and uh, So we can scoot over here, and this is Task Hunt. So as we recall, Soldier Bravo, I had that enabled on him, so I'll just run the other script, task hunt. Like so, and it's the same sort of principle with a but with a different style of uh, behavior. The task hunt is more useful for uh, AI that are controlling larger areas. In this case, they will much slower uh, and in a sort of safe mindset try to be patrolling the area around where the nearest player is within their sort of uh, AOE uh, so again moving much much slower much more casually uh, they'll be given a, uh, a position which is in within a hundred meters uh, 360 degrees of the closest player so it is actually possible to avoid these guys uh, again same kind of principle, same kind of script, but uh, the, you can easily think of, of utilities for this as well. Uh, as a mission designer, you might have scenarios where you need the players to run into contact, while well, having one or two units on, on this script will accomplish that. Again, I wouldn't overuse it because part of the the charm of playing a simulation is that you can actually outsmart the AI, that you can actually avoid them. And with scripts like this going on, that's not going to be possible. In any case, that's pretty much how it works. There's no special treatment given to uh, buildings. Uh, I'll circle around them. Actually, I lie. Uh, if, uh, if they see me near a building, they will try to suppress that, that building. It's not always so dependable because they're on a much slower sort of cycle, uh, but, but it will on occasion on occasion uh, happen. Uh, you can actually actually we didn't really focus on that, but uh, they are also uh, will generally also run their flashlights when they're on patrol. So it's it's quite suitable for uh, for night missions like that. The script cycles its update of uh, the player information every 60 to 80 seconds or so. So I guess there it is possible to avoid the AI in, 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 in that manner. Again, not running any AI mods. If this had been with Danger FSM, uh, Mathieu, uh, with his group here, uh, would also have been in the know and would, would have been in a much more sort of combative stance. Hey, Arma is what it is. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually just going to call it at that. I, you don't really need to see me go out and try to shoot uh, shoot these guys. Uh, oh, here's the suppressive fire behavior. This is the hunting team knows that I'm inside one of these buildings and is therefore putting fire on that building. Uh, it's a simple system will only work for... Uh, uh, vanilla buildings really uh, buildings that are in the map you can't place things dynamically but I mean I get it's a small effect I'm not gonna delve too much on that that's task hunt 
Final script I will be showing you is uh, task creep. And uh, if you follow the development of Danger FSM, you've actually seen it before. But this time around, we'll give it a bit more of a uh, treatment. Uh, I'll actually go to these guys and give them that. And then we'll, uh, because they're in a forest, we might see a bit of different behavior from them. Task creep is in many ways task hunt with one important difference. The intention is a much more stealthy one. The idea is that the AI will actually stalk the players. So uh, on open fields like this, it's not ideal, but we can see some of the effect. So what it'll actually do is it'll read the situation around the team leader and decide what kind of terrain this is. Now we can see that the leftmost group here, they're actually standing. This is because they were closer to the trees when they started out. So they think they're in a bit of cover. This will cycle, I think, every uh, 15 or 20 seconds or so. And like you can see right here, uh, they realize, well, hey, wait a minute, we're in the open. We should be low like that, low to the ground. If I go to these other guys, you can see they have a much lower profile, but they're not crawling. That's precisely because they're in this sort of forested tree-like area. So the stance will vary on two things. Number one, what kind of terrain they're in. And number two, how close to the uh, target they are. The closer they are to the target, the lower they will get. Even more scary, they'll actually they're actually set to hold fire and will only hold uh, uh, only open fire if they're discovered or if they're really 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 close to you. So this is a way of of, of setting up ambushes. Really, uh, again, it's the AI is not perfectly intelligent. Sometimes it'll do stuff the player uh, wouldn't be doing. Uh, but it is a uh, it is a uh, uh, an interesting script. It's it I've run it sometimes on Tanoa, and that is scary to say the very least. Incidentally, this is the type of behavior I would have wanted of the default uh, stealth setting on uh, armor units. This is actually stealthy, running full speed, cover to cover. It's not particularly stealthy behavior. We should see them. Yeah, they're going prone now again in an open in an open field, uh, in a jungle or when they're far away from the nearest known target. They'll be standing up and moving. They won't ever run. They'll always be uh, moving at a tactical pace, but they'll be much uh, much more um, mobile in any in any case, and. Uh, yeah, does it work? I think it does. Kind of lost track of these guys in the forest. Might not have gotten that far yet. Oh, here we are. Uh, and so it is for these guys. If they get uh, bumped, if they go into contact, the entire group will open fire uh, in, sort of, uh, <laughs> in sympathy. And uh, they'll start out by trying to really suppress the enemy uh, enemy location. After that, just regular combat AI takes over, and uh, well, they'll be uh, they'll be running and gunning as you are uh, as you're used to. But this is a way to uh, to set up uh, uh, some some pretty stealthy behavior from uh, uh, from the from the AI. Uh, from a technical point of view, they are simply set to a uh, green stance on, on hold fire, um, which means they won't engage uh, unless spotted. And also they're actually set to aware mode in formation. So primarily what I'm doing is just toggling their stance and uh, based on, on the things I've talked about, uh, but also updating them on the, uh, on the player's location. In the Danger FSM version, you might see more advanced versions of this in the future with uh, a less perfect uh, enemy knowledge or whatnot. But ideally, you'd see behavior like this when the, they ought to be in stealth, if you, if you ask me. There's no special behavior related to uh, to buildings in uh, in the script. It's really just a, uh, a, a sort of stealthy behavior type thing. 
In fact, uh, as an experiment, why don't I walk out into the field and see uh, how long it takes them to engage me. I've never really done this on uh, on Altis. I've only really used it to any great extent on, uh, on Tanoa. So <laughs> a bit. Uh, I don't really know myself. There we go. Spotted. Not really a fusillade of fire, but scary enough. Had this guy been wearing camouflage, uh, you could have uh, imagined what kind of effect that would have uh, would have had. Crawling a bit faster now, it seems as well. So before I round off this video, which has uh, showcased uh, Task Rush, Task Hunt, and lastly Task Task Creep, I'll uh, let's go through a couple of tricks you can you can sort of do with these uh, units. Uh, so, like I said, fighting against an enemy who has perfect knowledge isn't always the most interesting of things. How can you give break that up a bit? Well, a, a, a easy trick is to uh, let's just spawn a group uh, here. Let's have some uh, some looters, a small looter gang, and I'll set them with two waypoints. The first one is a uh, sentry. And the second one is just a regular mood waypoint. And on that, I will just write the familiar script. Fan task rush. Boom. Now what will happen now is they will move up to the sentry marker. And they'll remain there until they get information about a, uh, a an enemy force. If they believe that they have the weapons to deal with that enemy force, they will move on to the next waypoint, which is... Well, it runs this script right here, task rush, and that's a simple way of, of setting up a, uh, a group like this. These guys would be triggered without sort of needing any 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 formal uh, triggers like this, but they'll be on that sentry waypoint if uh, blue four or red four or any, any uh, enemy faction in this case would drive by them, they go into their, their rushing mode and start just blasting towards the uh, enemy. Same trick could, of course, be done with any of the other scripts or or, or, or similar. Uh, I sometimes do that with uh, CBA's garrison script. Keep them on sentry. Waypoint garrison. They'll move into buildings and uh, and sort of get a bit of reactive, uh, uh, get, get some reactions there. We're in a in a very cost efficient manner. No no special scripting. No no uh, no no expensive triggers or anything like that. Just uh, two waypoints to get a bit of uh, uh, dynamic behavior into the uh, into the um, into the unit. Another thing that often comes up, uh, also in the danger of them, is like, uh, "Hey Kenny, can you make a like a special script that makes the uh, unit dynamically reinforce uh, positions or units that are in trouble with?" Uh, uh, with a force corresponding the, uh, the the threat they're meeting. Uh, well, uh, thank you for that hypothetical uh, question. Hypothetical question. Uh, yes, I can, and it's not really any of my work. Uh, just a simple vanilla guard waypoint does just that. Don't underestimate how good and effective this is as a means of creating dynamic uh, dynamic situations having some units spread around with a with a with a guard waypoint like this can be a, a powerful way of, of of setting up scenarios that will have you know qrfs moving in in a very natural and and, and dynamic fashion and as i understand it, there is a bit of uh, of uh, uh, task uh, or, or, or target cost weighing uh, happening there as well. Uh, I noticed that large infantry formations will rarely move against a, a single target. Uh, tanks and, and vehicles will try to uh, to to balance their their uh, their approach a, a bit. Not as intelligent as a human would, of course, but there's still some stuff going on there. And uh, well, that's really it. If you have any comments, uh, please ask in the uh, relevant forum thread or the questions, uh, uh, or, or use the comments uh, below. The code will be released on uh, in the Bohemia thread, actually, and also on my GitHub. I'll provide a link somewhere. And uh, that's really it. Thank you for uh, watching.